we are wiring my toy hauler. So I'm working on a brand new 14 foot enclosed trailer, seven and a half foot wide, seven and a half foot tall to haul my side by side on when we go four wheeling. Getting into this, I've kind of arranged it from left to right as it will be installed. And this will kind of be a mixture of 12 volt and uh, 120 volt, 110, whatever you want to call it, system. Uh, because I will have both. My trailer, my camper, will be run 100% of the time either on shore power or I'll take a generator with me and run it that way. Both of those scenarios, they are GFI protected. If I ever got in a situation where I wanted to uh, not, I don't know, listen to a gas generator, I've got one that's really quiet and I'm always bringing the side by side so we have gas for that anyways. Uh, but I would use one of these pre-done, uh, you know, like I have a Jackery 500 little small one. I'd get a bigger one that, that uh, I can only see using that in a time when you didn't need heat or air conditioning because those really suck the power. If you just wanted something to run your fridge, that would work pretty good. So let's get into this. On the front of my trailer, on the Vinos, there's about a six inch flat spot at the point. So I will take this shore power and I got all this stuff on Amazon. I will put links in the description so you could find it. You could probably find a bunch of it at your big box store. Certainly, you know, some of the regular uh, 120 volt stuff. Uh, but I've got this short power. This is the part that will go on the outside. This rubber gasket will seal it to the trailer uh, with the screws that they provide. And then it's got a plug to keep it waterproof while you're driving. Mine will be on the nose of the trailer, so a lot of weather hitting it. I wanna be sure and do that. I'm gonna drill this through the front. On the inside, uh, as the plywood comes to the nose, there is a flat metal channel that I'll put back on. This will be behind it, but I'm going to cut the end off here so that I can hardwire it. It will then come into this box. This is, uh, I don't know, 1900 deep box. It's a four inch square box, but a little extra deep because I have a lot going on here. So I want to be sure uh, that I have enough room. This one has a hole knocked out of it already because it's something I already had. Uh, I will plug that later. I'm gonna take a knockout out of the back and I'm gonna screw this to the face of that channel on the inside. And this is where all of my 110 outlets are gonna go. So it will come from outside the trailer, through the trailer into the back of this box. And then I will take this quad Garvin cover, they call it. I'll put two outlets in it and this will be surface mounted inside the trailer. For 110, this is enough for me. This will get generator uh, or that GFI uh, protected shore power into the trailer. Uh, I will probably wind up running either heat or air conditioner, electric. Uh, I have a system for both, those will be later videos. Or I will wind up uh, and, and plug my fridge into it as well. Um, that's about it. I don't need too much more from the high voltage while I'm in there, you know. Uh, maybe a few other things, but you've got four outlets. There's always options for power strips. Uh, but this is gonna be a really short uh, run. I like it that way, keep it simple. Going from there, for the lighting, everything else, we're going to take this transformer. And within this box as well, we are gonna step down this 110, 120 volt power to 12 volt and that'll work off the same uh, power supply from inside of this box but it will come back out the back and this will live in the wall as will all of the 12 volt wiring we're going to wire it before we insulate and panel uh, the camper where this will be exposed from the 12 volt transformer off of these leads. Now, because we're only 12 volt, we can keep wire nuts, bury them in the wall. We don't need to do all the things that you have to follow with 110. Uh, should be much simpler. We're gonna step it down to 12 volt and we're gonna have these puck lights. This is a box of 12. We cut them into the ceiling with a hole saw and these little spring-loaded tabs clip down and hold it into the ceiling. Uh, and this is a rheostat. It's a dimmer, a dial uh, that will control the power coming off of this transformer and I can dim these lights. Uh, separate from that will be these LED strip lights. These I'm gonna have to put in at a later time because I'm going to have like a one by four around the top of the trailer when I'm done. Uh, there is a little channel that will go under it with a diffuser. This will slide into that diffuser and these will also be on 
um, a rheostat. So I'll just have the wires hanging out for now, uh, but maybe we'll try and temp them up just to make sure they work. This is an outside light uh, that's gonna go on the trailer as well. I'll run it off this different dimmer, just, just so I can, I had it for one, but I can easily tell the difference between interior and exterior light because the uh, uh, switches look different. Um, but I also like this one because whatever this uh, dimmer is set at, when you go on and off, it will stay there. So I may find a setting I like, but if you're trying to do something outside, you might want it a little brighter. If you're just gonna leave it on at night while you sleep, uh, I'm gonna have a screen door on this. This will be right outside the door. So if you need to leave the camp or use the washroom or something, you could see what you're doing. I'll dim it way down. Uh, so it's not real bright and attracting a lot of bugs, blinding my neighbor next to me if you're in a campground. Uh, I like the option of having this on a thermostat. So all three of these switches will be right next to the door. That's going to be at the head of the bed. So when I fold my bed down, I can reach all of these from the bed easily. Uh, there are lights in the trailer now. They aren't gonna run off this system. They will run independently uh, off the seven-way uh, plug plugged into the truck, and they're done now. They are all fully wired. Uh, they work off that harness, as do all of the trailer lights. And I want some lights inside. There's like two dome lights, and then there's some lights down the back uh, overhang on the trailer to light up the ramp. So if you're loading, unloading at night with it hooked to the truck, if you stop at a gas station on your road trip to get to your destination, you need to get something out of the trailer. The switch inside will also be by the door. I broke the other one off getting the plywood out, so I got a new switch for that. It's also black, we'll match these other ones. That's kind of cool. As long as I have power coming from the transformer to these three switches at the door, and that's at the head of my bed, I thought, you know, I need a little shelf above all that that I can set stuff on, and I'm gonna put these two outlets. These are 12 volt, like a cigarette lighter outlet for anything you'd have that use that kind of hookup, and two USB ports. So for now, we're gonna run this system. Uh, I've got it all installed uh, at this point in the video, even though none of it is installed now. Let's go take a look at how it turned out. Well, here we are. You guys can take a look at it. We got all these uh, switches mounted up. These outlets were a little bit deep for the thickness of the wall. So I made this little, uh, I don't know, plate out of trim. Uh, threaded the back you could see that before and then I just shot this to the wall so I'll caulk around it make it real solid and paint all this in here is going to be a bunk bed so I'll probably put a little shelf up here you'll be able to charge your phone while you sleep uh, kind of cool they light up it's a regular like cigarette lighter 12 volt 
uh, two USB ports. This switch just does the uh, puck lights in here and the ones on the tailgate. Those run off the truck when the seven way pin is plugged in. So if you're trying to get cargo in and out or see inside your trailer when you're not hooked to shore power, uh, that's the light for that. I switch it to a black switch so it would match. Uh, this here, let's see, does this. So what I will do is this yellow and red wire uh, will feed all of these puck lights down the ceiling. I'll wire them up as I put it up. Uh, this one here, which is the other one, will power the LED strip lights that will go around the crown molding in the trailer. So uh, that will have to be wired as it goes up too. But I got these on a rheostat. So they go up and down, push to turn them off. Pretty cool. Again, all this stuff is from Amazon. It's not too big a deal. That one's got a little beeper. It's not illuminated. I thought it would. Uh, but that does this outside light on off you can change how uh, bright it is anyways that's it for the wiring I think